<laughs> my chilling man, I'm Cleveland and Montebello, man. And it reminded me about this time when I was taking a bus right here, bro, from fucking Rosemead to Montebello, right? I hear with the homies about it right here. And fucking, uh, I was on a bus, bro, and my homie didn't like that this motherfucker started tripping on me, right? And, um, he took off on him, right? Now, the thing that was funny as fuck is that the motherfucker was sitting like far from us, so. Nobody even knew what was going on. But the motherfucker was drunk as hell, probably like 40 years old. We was like 13 years old. And he was fucking met, like whispering little uh little black words like Mayate and the N-word and he was saying all these things, right? So we're over there drunk as fuck, paying this motherfucker no mind, right? And now he's like, oh, man, yeah, yeah. So my boy catch wind, right? And now they're like, hey, motherfucker, why you jump away from me like a frog? G, what's going on? G, I look back and he on that foot. Like, pick -a -pick -a -pick -a, beating that motherfucker up, right? I was like, damn, G, what the fuck? We get off of him, G, what's going on? He's like, nah, this motherfucker talking about your fucking skin, dog. Hey, what's up, dog? You, you don't like my homie's skin? He was like, no, man, no, man. Pinchy mayate, pinchy. This motherfucker had one of those mayate bugs smushed up in his hand, bro. Like, like fucking nasty, bro. My thing was like, what the fuck does my yate got to do with the N-word? You know what I'm saying? Like, I felt a little bad because he had a mayate, but it didn't overweigh the fact that he was saying the N-word. You know what I'm saying? So I ended up punching his ass in the head too, G. And then we got off at the stop player. Montebello, baby. <laughs>